What's up you beautiful people? Stone here and today we're back in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Hardcore Nuzlocke Playthrough Part 19. And we're gonna get right into this battle. I think Nala's out front because we prepped her for last time. You know what? She's the one that's battling. We're gonna make her follow us when we get outside. We're not outside yet. Don't matter. Fight her. Your name is Candace. You want to challenge Candace? Sure thing. I was waiting for someone tough, but I should tell you I'm tough because I know how to focus. Pokemon, fashion, romance, it's all about focus. I'll show you just how what I mean. Get ready to lose. Yeehaw! Sucker. I don't know why, but I really wanted to do that. <laughs> I've been I've been itching to do a southern accent or whatever the fuck that was. <laughs> whatever you consider that as. A grotesque statement. Are you gonna set up snow warning right in my face? And I can't do anything about it because I think you'll resist me. Don't worry, Pokemon will tell me, right? Or does this generation not tell you if your moves are effective and super effective? No, they do, they do, right? Or, oh no, I was clicking A too much. Paralyze him, paralyze him. Okay, solid, solid hit. Yes, it paralyzed. Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Don't do it, don't you fucking do it. Oh no, that doubles the damage. If he goes second. Oh, this gonna suck. It's really gonna suck. We're already out of Nala, Nala knowledge. We're gonna hit you again. Boopity. I know that takes you out. Okay, Snover down. Does she have like two Snovers and a Bomb of Snow and a Frozlar? She has four Pokemon. I'm freaking out right now because of how much damage that did, just did and uh, I know I can't heal. Okay, Shell Bell gives me back some some health. And I got, oh, and this freaking hail beating down on me every turn. Oh, they got a Sneasel. What are you going to hit me with? What kind of Sneasel? I don't think a Sneasel could possibly knock me out. We're going to spark it. Oh, you're going to dig on me? Uh-oh. I don't have a flying type. Um, do I have anybody can eat a dig? Oh no! Oh no! Tucana could probably eat a dig, and then I could set up all over this Sneasel. Hopefully, oh, let's try that. Yeah, we can we can swap out. We can swap out this hail. Isn't gonna do any damage to Tucana because she has that magic guard. Probably charm this thing up. You get some charms in. Get some uh, cosmic powers in. Till I feel till I feel good about myself. Hone in your claws. Well, guess what? Your attack's being lowered. So gets he, they have dig and hone claws. I need to keep track of this. Oh man, things are getting getting. I, I would say heated, but chilling. She's giving me that cold shoulder. And I only have. Five freaking, um, what, what you call it? So is he at neutral now? I think he's at neutral again, but he's at plus two accuracy. I only have five moonlights. So I only have so much healing I can do. Partially fell. I'm just gonna keep going. She's gonna keep home claws in. What are you setting up for? Why do you have home claws anyway? What do you, what do you have problems with hitting? And why isn't this hail gone? I'm just keep wagging. You gotta just keep wagging your finger at this mischievous little Pokemon till she stops doing that. Stop doing that. Metal Claw. There. Oh no. Okay. Well, that was something. Charming you. Charm, charm, charm. I should have been setting up some cosmic powers. Let me. Let me see. Hail stopped. Okay. Less animations. Wait in your direction. Let's put up a cosmic power. Metal Claw. I'm just asking you. Do not crit me, because if they do... Oh, no! Okay, that's okay, though. We got up a Cosmic Power. We have plus one defense and special defense. So we can go into confidently, I think, a Moonlight and then attack. I think we're at a decent spot. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Things are still looking good. So Metal Claw, Home Claws, and Dig. Two Claw moves. Look at that! Yes. Give me all that HP back, scrumptious, scrump diddly dumptious. Go for home claws again, so no! Oh no! I clicked the button too many times. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We get we get more defenses. That's it's not terrible. It's not the worst thing in the world, but I did spam click. I need to calm down. My my fingers are going as fast as my mouth is right now, and it's not good for me. It's not good for me. Okay, so slow down a little bit. I need to talk slower in order to move slower. I don't know why, but I can't talk fast and move fat or move slow. It just doesn't work like that. You ever try to like rub your stomach like in clockwise position and pat the top of your head up and down? 
Like that's uh, it's the thing we used to do as kids, and it was, it was hard to do because then all of a sudden, the hard thing about it is that your hand that pats the top of your head wants to move in circles as it's patting your head, and you can't do that. You got to go up and down. It's just a, a fun little trick to try to do. A medicam. Okay, well I've got plus two defense. I think I can live whatever hit you want to throw at me. You're an ice type gym leader anyway. Why do you have an a nice? Dodging that attack, Tukana. Nice, nice, nice. And bopped. Got bopped. Wait. Yeah, I thought you were for sure would have had a frost last. Why do you have a Medicham? I get they're outside of your gym. I found some. But no, stop that. Everybody's 47 now. Goodness. I likes it. Is Tukana going to take out this whole gym? I didn't think he was going to do it. I'm going to break to the, the to the ass. I'm going to break this ass. Yes, I am. Burnt here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, snore warning again, but that ain't nothing for me. Ain't nothing. Now, what do you got? What do you, your Bomb Snows are more physical than anything. I think I'm going to charm you out of your brains. And then I'm going to start hitting you. Because you don't have a lot of brains. Attack harshly fell. Farshly fell. Oh, Aurora Veil. Oh, okay. That is sick, actually. Aurora Veil, Bomb Snow. That makes this fight really annoying. But uh, it's basically basically a roar veil. If you have the if the hail is up, you will get like a light screen and a reflect up at the same time. It's very nice. Oh, 100% hit blizzards. I see you. Okay, roar veil and blizzard. So your attack is minus four. I think I'm gonna leave it at that and just go for moon blast. This isn't gonna do like anything, just because of that roar veil that's up, and you have potions in the back probably. Like a hyper potion at least. Okay, I'm at a point where I want to heal. A crit is definitely going to take me out. I have plus two special defense, so a crit, a crit might not take me out. But why, why risk it when we could just heal? Okay, blizzard. So, are you going to have five blizzards or eight? Because this could be very dangerous. Five? Are you going to have five or eight? Normally, blizzard only has five PP, but with uh, three PP maxes, you can bring. Something that's base 5 PP up to 8. One for every max PP. Sometimes it's more or less. Okay, there was that crit I was scared about. The hail stopped. Nice Aurora Veil wore off. I still have two more heals and I think I'm faster. Yes, I was banking on me being faster. If this was nighttime, I should have I should have waited a little bit until this was night and been even better. Can you miss a blizzard? Nope, you don't like missing blizzards, I guess. No! Tukana, wake up, get out, stop, stop being frozen, stop that, stop that, you better, you better stop, well, at least, oh, no, 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 wait, you're at minus four, okay, earthquake, nice that you have earthquake, I think I'm gonna just wear down his, um, his PP usage, should be able to, oh, and you have Giga Drain, okay, not cool, not cool. Okay, Giga, this guy has a good moveset. Giga Drain, Earthquake, Blizzard, Aurora Veil. Oh, he has so, mu so much type coverage. His attack's lowered, but he has Giga Drain as a special move. If he has no more Blizzards, I wouldn't be scared to go into Bowser, but I don't know if he has any more Blizzards. If he goes for another Giga Drain, Flotella could get the raw end of that deal. Man, let's check this again. Check again. Yeah, your special D is low. Your special defense is okay. It takes everything neutrally. You don't have a lot of health. Yours is low. Yours is good. Giga Drain will do neutral. Earthquake won't do anything. Oh, man. I think I could take one more hit of whatever he does. Tukana, please. Please, Tukana. Oh, yes, baby! Let's go! Moonlight! Moonlighten me up! Oh, and the heal! I got like 100 health. Well, not really. Probably like 80 some odd. But now he's gonna be stealing it from me? Stop stealing my health, boy. Not very nice at all, but this Moonblast should do a tasty chunk out of you. The first one with the Aurora Veil up did a decent amount. Oh! If I do one more, that could take you out. If you didn't have a freaking citrus berry and you're gonna have a potion too. Hey, Tukana. 
I know you've already done God's work in this battle, but could you, um, maybe get a crit? Because that would be sick. That would be awesome. Moon blasting it. What are we looking at, like, right now? Oh! Oh, just a little bit more, and that earthquake ain't gonna do nothing. Even if it's a crit, I don't think we would have been worrying. I can sense your will to win, but I promise you I'm not gonna give up. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know what you said. I don't know what I'm talking about. I ate too much shrimp gumbo. Oh no, a full restore. Get out of here. Bup, bup. And. So, yes, it does at least half. Tukana, you do so much damage. Wait, I never even checked this whole battle. What are the level of her Pokemon are? 42? Okay, we're five levels up. That's probably why we did so well, but. Oh, it's. Oh, that battle was something else. That was something else, yes. I must say, I've warmed up to you. I might even admire you a little. Oh, yeah, she does. She loves us, guys. We won over the pigtailed girl. Wow, you're great. You've earned my respect. I think your focus and will bowled us over to totally. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to give you this. Oh, my God, my badges are grimy. Oosh. Received the Icicle Badge from Candice. Let's go, Candice. Thank you for that. The Icicle Badge I just gave you. Because you have it, you can use the Hidden Move Rock Climb with, from your Poke Edge. Oh, take these too. Stickers. Oh, stickers, yes. I think that's Avalanche. Avalanche. Each TM72 contains the move Avalanche. If the user takes damage, the move's power is doubled. Can you imagine what sort of focus you'll need to pull it off? I don't even know. I'm going to go back to my forward focus. And we're outside. And we can go heal up. And then we're going to go to where we got to go to the, the, the next lake. We already went through something big, guys. And then we're going to have to go through something big again. My heart can't take all of this. It's too much. Normally I wouldn't be bothered, but the, the the stress of playing in the format I'm playing in is just ridiculous, man. I don't want to lose anybody. I haven't lost anybody in a long time since we were like in our 30s. Level 30s. It's been very long. If I could keep this team to the end, that would be amazing. Where? Okay, so we want... We want... We want... Wait. Why can't I... Why don't I have the option to take you out? Is it because you can't walk around in this area? Why can't you walk out in this area? Okay. Okay. Acuity Lakefront. I don't want to run into any wild Pokemon. Don't make me do it there, wild. We're out in the snow again. Oh, get, get out of there. Oh, there we are. We can go right in. I don't know why they decided to move. Oh, hey. Oh, you're not getting away with this, Team Galactic. Oh, are you finished already? Your Pokemon aren't bad, but you're laughably weak. You honestly thought you could save the Pokemon of the lake and become the Pokemon champion? Dream on, little kid. But ew, it's so cold here. Let's go back to Veilstone HQ. No, Vinny, how could you? Oh, don't I know you? We met in Eterna City. Listen, Team Galactic is going to do something huge for everyone's sake. That's why you should keep out of Team Galactic's way. Don't come whining about poor Pokemon and other trivial junk like that. Don't waste your time coming to our HQ in Veilstone. Now, if you'll excuse me. Damn, why is everybody telling me where their base is? Yeah, that's right. I couldn't do anything against Team Galactic. That Pokemon called Yuxi. It was suffering. I'm going to get tougher. It's not about why winning or losing. That's not good enough. I have to be stronger. Because of the voice I'm doing, I thought he said whining. <laughs> I wanted to read that as whining so bad. I'm not just whining and losing. Yes, you are, buddy. Yes, you freaking are. So, so we literally just have to go to the, the HQ all the way over here. The flags are everywhere. Yes, thank you. I know it's not necessary and it makes the game super easy, but it's so nice to just not have to think about where we're going. And the game's just like, hey, go over here. It's like, yes, thank you. I just would like to move on with my life. Because uh, I'm a weird gamer. I don't know if any of you follow or have these tendencies, but some it, I guess it just could be, it's like certain games. Certain games I just want to rush through, get through, and then I'll 100% it when I'm done. And other games, it's just like, I want to sit down, 
and make this whole thing a journey and just do everything as I go. I think I like to do that with like the Fallout games. Just explore, explore the whole game, do as much as I can on the way. But uh, yeah. And I think this is also because it's the, um, it's just the, it's the type of thing we're doing. It's because of this. Oh, I don't think we can go. We got to go in through the back door entrance. I just think it's because I'm doing a playthrough. So I, I want to do this first and then we'll do on and we'll do the other junkie. Wait, this is our time. Nala, walk with me, walk with me, run with me. You're beautiful, girl. Look at her. She's amazing. She's amazing. We only got to see a little bit of her because we're already in here. But can I get through? Appears to take a special key to open. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold it there. Do you have the key? I don't know if you do or not, but a storage key is safe with our guard in front of the HQ. Huh? That's not what this is about. Oh, my God. I was in the front. I had to go to the back. Now I have to go back to the front. Is it literally the guy outside? Why did he tell me? Why didn't they, they couldn't think of any other way for us to get the key? Are we gonna battle? You just, hey, it's you. I bet you don't remember me, but I, I sure remember you. Because of you, they took my Clefairy away. My partner called it quits and went back to his hometown. I don't know anything about any storage key. It's like the lift key guy at the bottom of the, one of the rocket headquarters. He just runs away and he drops it by accident. Okay, finally, enough with the errands, the back and forth. We got to see more of Nala, though, so I like that. Nala, where are you going? You're gonna try to jump from the high rise? Off the high rope! Bam! With the elbow. Okay, can you talk to me now? Oh, I don't even have to talk to you. Just use the key. Rusted, snapped open. Oh, the thing snapped. The key snapped. We got a dust stone. We don't need it, but that would, that's nice. You get the dust stone late in this game. Can't evolve your dust type Pokemon until what is it? Oh, we're fighting until after the seventh gym. Well, what do we have here? A trainer who's lost their way? I haven't lost anything. I actually found a key. I'm a finder, not a loser. Loser? Loose? Losser? I don't lose things. Who's the person that loses things? They are. I guess it is a loser. I just thought that meant towards like, if you were trying to win something, you're a loser. Because if you lose something, that doesn't mean you didn't win, you just lost it. Like, if you lost your keys, how do you win your keys? Like, that's what I want. That's big brain thinking right there. Bye, pet. Goodbye. Is this all you had was this gold bat? Nolly, you're so beautiful and great. I love you. I feel like I say that about all my Pokemon at least once in every episode. I don't know, it's just positivity. I like my boys and girls on my squad. That's why I don't want them to die. I've built the relationship with them. They're all unique and amazing. I love them. I love them all. What do we have here? Hello? You're the first intruder we've had in our HQ. Am I really though? Am I really? Or am I just the first successful one? Or the first one you've seen? Because I don't care about being all sneaky. I don't, I don't care for being behind cover. You know what? I actually do though. Some stealth games are super fun. Like I played, uh, I actually have it on the channel, but I played, um, was it Sticks Shards of Darkness where you play a little rogue goblin? It's really freaking awesome. I loved it. Loved the whole experience. It was so cool. And one more, one more, one more, one more. There we go. So yeah, you, you can do, I always like those games too that are, um, totally stealth based because well you could look at it totally stealth based or they also have the option where if you don't want to go stealth you could just go around healing everybody look Tukana is the highest level now because she took on that basically the whole last gym by herself so proud wow nice I wish that that game company or they made something else because I feel like they do a really good job especially with the story in the level designs. Hopefully they come up with like a third sticks or like a different instead of goblins like they have elves in that game and stuff I'd like to maybe they could change their game dynamic and make it a more fighting game or a different type of game. I don't know what else you could go like what's another type of game besides like as far as combat dynamics is concerned like stealthy or just full-on combat like what, a, what really else is there and I've been missing anything I like to explore these buildings. 
How do you think you are, uh, who do you think you are desecrating a hall of the cube? How am I desecrating it? Just by standing here? It's not like I'm drawing graffiti or peeing anywhere or writing weird insignias. Like, you don't know what desecrating means. Unless just my existence, then, uh, okay. I'll, I might take that. I might be able to let you throw that at me, but I'm dunking it on the ground. I don't want it anymore. Get this, these words out of here. Get this word and this clay me out. Get this clay me out. Straight on out. On out. Get on down. Shimona. Oh, gaining all my health back with Shell Bell. Love to see that. Doesn't happen very often, but it's a very good feeling. Love it, love it, love it. Hey, speaking of good items. Not competitively, but like, as you're playing through the game, what is your favorite hold item? I do like the shell ball. I feel like the shell ball is way better in-game than it is outside of, like, like in-game like this and not in-competitive. I also just realized I didn't check out that other place. I was kind of just mindlessly going about. Oh, I do like this animation. You can see, I love seeing the shadow even when you're out of screen. You can still see it swirling around. Well, not right there, because it went to the wall, so that was a bad example, but... You'll see it. Oh, that was so worth Scald? Oh, man, too bad freaking, um... My whole team is almost all physical, except for Tukana. Well, I say, all, like, they all are, and then there's two, which is usually nice. Usually when I'm doing Nuzlocke, I, I get the... I try using Pokemon I want, and then they all end up being like either physical or special. But this one, I feel like we have a good, it's it's like a decent split. We got four physicals, two specials. We have like two tanks. So everything's looking good. Where am I going? I don't know where I'm going right now. I'm just going around. Is there, do you want to fight me? Do you want to fight me? Oh, where'd Vinny come from? A snot-nosed kid like you ought to keep your hands, your dirty hands to yourself. I thought he was like, a kid like you better keep your hands dirty if you want to like do things with us. I don't know. Sussy? Baka? Yes? Kadabra. You's gonna get them teeth on your booty. Booty booty. Bum bum. Waiting for directions. Bites him. Bites him all. Bites his head. Bites his whiskers. Oh, I miss whiskers now. Oh man, having a freaking Gyarados that learns Waterfall at level 20? Or around low 20s, I think it was. It was a surprise, and it was a very good surprise. Very nice. And one more, right on his fingies. Bye-bye. No fingies having Kadabra. So we, should we switch somebody else into the front? Yeah, I think we're good for right now. Once, uh... Now it gets to 48, we'll switch to somebody else. No need to worry about it now. Now show me what's in your basement, DOS basement. Oh, wait, is this just all the way around? Wait, what is this? Sludge Bomb? Hell yeah! Oh, it's another great TM. Two amazing TMs in this game. Oh, collect a key. Now I can go anywhere I want. I can go around this way. So this is just like the a quicker way out. Does this guy want to fight me? Yeah, because that's the entrance. I've been with Team Collector for five years. I haven't gotten a promotion yet. Oh, dude, that sucks. Maybe you're not doing a good job. Just because you've been here a long time doesn't mean you you deserve a promotion just for your time. Du -du -du. You need to actually show your work. Is that a puddle here? Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that little little bit of a uh, scenery. A little bit, little bit. Even though it means like your your place is falling apart. I don't know. It's just like to see a little bit of uh, the monotonous broken up. It's not just all walls. I'm sorry for that harsh P also. I don't know, I hit that hard, I don't know why. Hopefully they didn't pick up weird. Grunty, grunty boy. And what? Oh, oh, are you, are you serious? Are you serious right now? You insult me, sir. You stop me and then you throw this at me. We are not in the first two episodes. I will, I will accept this if it was just even the first three. But now, when we're on like 19, sir, you insult me suchly. Just hit him already, no, just hit him. Goodbye. Did you at least have like a beautiful line of dust box? No, he's probably gonna have the whole line. Oh, he throws out his dust box. Does that mean you saved your cascoon for last? What is this? What is this? I don't think I one hit the last dust box I fought. Yeah, they're pretty bulky. And he leech life to me. Leech life so much better. That was actually one of my favorite moves. That's another question I have for you guys. What was your favorite 
move that they buffed in the last couple of years. I know Sun and Moon, they buffed a lot of stuff, but Leech Life, I feel like it was so crazy. It went from being absolutely weak, the only per Pokemon I ever really used it on was Zubat, like, but I got rid of that thing so fast. Astonish and Leech Life are both terrible. And then all of a sudden, oh, it does 80 base now. And it's like, what? That is so much better. Who's trying to learn this? Thunder Wave? Do I want Thunder Wave? It can be very nice. I don't feel like I've been using Roar at all. Nobody's been setting up on me. You know what? I think T-Wave might serve more utility than Roar. I know I've had T-Wave in the bag, and I could just taught it to Nala whenever I wanted. But the fact that she's trying to learn it is something different. She's showing the initiative, it's not me. Cascoon! Little ball. And Sparky. Plus, yeah, no setting up on me. Nobody setting up. Would have been nice against that Sneasel, uh, Sneasel, but Nala could handle him. Could very much do so. Okay, so who are we gonna. We're gonna put Flotella out front. Flotella, Flotella, Flotella. Come out here, girl. I haven't seen you in a hot minute either. Get out here. Get out of all. There you are. You beautiful, beautiful. Who are you? Do you want to fight? They don't want to fight. Surprising. You want to fight, though. You've been. You're looking around. You're not in the middle of a room. I don't know what that means, but if you're in the middle of a room, you probably ain't gonna fight people. Unless you're next to a table. And the only people that are that way for some reason are usually the uh, the scientists they have working with. Every evil organization always has hostile scientists. Looks nothing like these guys, but they're willing to defend these other people for some reason. And you're about to get a wash, buddy. You need it. You stank. You stank. You stank. Oh no, not the aftermath. That actually hurt me a bit. And I'm not being sarcastic, even though it sounds like I am, because I just realized it really sounded like I was. I mean, I kind of was, because at the same time I was thinking, ah, I just need to use a potion now, but I don't really need to use a potion. I could just keep going. Keep on trucking. Hey, you want to fight me? Wait, why are you looking at the wall? What is this purpose of the... I smell an intruder. That's not me. I swear. I just fought a stunky. You probably smell a stunky, which in that case wouldn't be an intruder, so maybe, you know, maybe I'm not. I'm not doing it right. Hey, I got bite. I can bite you. Or do I got crunch? Flotella? You know how to bite people, or do you know how to bite people? You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, you just know how to bite people. No, no winkiness involved. What does winkiness mean? Hello? Uh, I, sometimes I just hear myself, but it's like, what did I say? And how can that be applied? I don't know. Don't use science, though, to apply that. That's not good. Aqua Chat! See a different animation? Oh, throw, wait, does she throw it back before she Aqua Jets, or no? That's disturbing. That is disturbing. Oh no, another aftermathing stinky boy. We'll have to wash it away to find out. And. Hey. Ah, oh, man, another one. Another one. So are we gonna have to rebattle? I feel like we just fought Jupiter not that long ago. Or maybe it's just because I was recently today editing thumbnails with her in it, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Oh, it's a good thing I did explore the whole place. Because to come all the way up here and then to be like, hey, you gotta go back would be infuriating. Wait a second. Um. Where do we go now? Wait, do I have to go through the main entrance? Uh, no, where are we going? Oh, yes, I was correct. We have to go through the main entrance now. Because we have Das Key. And it wasn't totally bad. I mean, we got some Dazzling Gleams. Oh, we don't have to double battle you. I mean, maybe I should have. Maybe it would have been faster to do so. But it is what it is now. He was looking in this direction. And based on what you have, I could probably presume what your other compatriot has. It's nice to know that some of these guys follow the, the buddy system. We stick together, because that way you're safer and you're stronger. Oh, I can give you this Ice Fang. I don't think I've ever knocked out a Golbat with one Ice Fang, though. Oh, shut my mouth, Flotella. You shut my mouth for me. Take your little fingers, pinch my lips. I don't need to talk anymore, none of that. Especially against you. We, I ain't talking against you anymore. So wait, is that other lady going to have two of the same poke or two Golbats also? 
Botella just gonna be snacking? Is it snack time? Who rang the snack bell? Ling 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 ling. Who was it? Who's throwing it up? Oh, okay. Miso soup just needs a wee bit more. Does that mean we throw him out? You know what? Yeah, why not? Everybody get some love. Everybody get some love. I think the only one person that hasn't today is Cranium, but I feel like Adam, everybody, he's got a lot of spotlight in the in recent parts. So I don't feel so bad if I can throw him in though. I will, but he's also he's got he's got levels on other people. I'm, I'm leveling up all my weak people. They're not there should not be anybody weaker than anybody else on my team. For long, anyway. For long. Uh, do we hit you? Let's go for the Psychic. I think Psychic has higher base damage anyway. I think this is base 90, where Psyshock is base 80. And it looks like she also has two Golbats, which is nice. And I can just, because of thus, thus being thusly, I can use... Oh, wait. What? Okay. No, my sense has been blown away. What? I have no more change in my pockets. This... You... The other guy... I don't... Don't... I'm not gonna try to think about it anymore. This is just too much. It's too much for me! I can't... What? I don't get it. What's your rush? Yeah, I don't get it either. Okay, lady? And what do you mean, what's my rush? I gotta save some things. You don't know what you've done. Oh, I like that they got a little kitchenette place. Station? What are you doing? You want to fight me? I won't let you disrupt our research. This is for Team Galactic. Wah! I'm so afraid there, guy. I'm so afraid. Look at his face. He's even... Ah! Close your mouth before I put something in it. Kadabra? Oh, this is going to be a fight. Kadabra versus Alakaza. Oh, I'm hopping. We're so excited. This is actually cool to see. What the heck? Okay, let's go to Pokemon. I just want to look at mine for a second to see. What is higher? Your special def your special defense is a lot lower, so I want to hit you with a special... Uh... And I say a lot lower because... Yeah, I want to hit you on the defensive side, yeah. Because I have a special defense lowering nature, and it's still way higher than my defense. Hey, goodbye. It pays to do a little bit of race start. Wait, does Alakazam also lose all the markings on its body? Because Kadabra has like a star and then some squiggles on its stomach. I got whipped! No, you didn't. I didn't touch you. Nothing touched you. I used mental powers. You can't say nothing. There's cameras around here someplace. Somebody will know better. Oh, we get to take a bit of a nappy? I'll take a nappy. And does that mean this is the correct way to go? So I should go into the kit. Let's go into the kitchenette area. And then... We hopefully discover more cool items, because we've already discovered a couple. I mean, Dazzling Gleam, Scald, what's the other cool one we found? Sludge Bomb? So much goodness. My goodness. Where are you sending us? Into a hole? Into a room? All by ourselves? Here's a Pokeball. That's useless. That's just free money. Okay, we gotta go back to the kitchenette. Back through this hole. A little lounge area. This is like a TV room they got going on there. Got some beds. You got everything you ever wanted in this place. Double battle. Should we do it? You know what? We're gonna do it. We're gonna do this squad. Yep. Cranium. No! I d I'm sorry! <sighs> Why did I do that? I planned a double battle and then I talked to one of them. Oh no. And they have three Pokemon each. Frickin' Cranium could have had a field day here. It could just rock slid everything. Rock sliding. Rock sliding. Wait. I thought you needed rock climb to get up to the lake. I don't know why I just thought about this. Um, probably because I was thinking about teaching Cranium new moves. All of a sudden, uh, let's just hit something while I'm talking. I thought you needed rock climb to get to the lake at the top. What is that, Lake Verity? I don't know the specific name of the lake, but the northernmost lake in next to Snow Point City. Are there snow? No, it's not snow. Blizzard snow. Where Jupiter was, that beat up Vinny. I thought you needed rock climb to get up there. Did you not? Didn't you originally need rock climb to get up there? Why'd they change it? Hmm. They still made us need to fight the gym leader in order to do it for some reason. <gasps> I can't fight you. Does teleport have negative priority? I think it does. I 
think it does. So we're just gonna switch. Cranium's gonna get some love. Throw him out here. Probably resist or not take a lot of damage. Whatever you want to do to me. Unless I think that's ground. I think ground is this poison. I don't think rock is this poison. I think it takes it neutrally or do it. Yeah? Aye, it does. But you lowered my something? What'd you lower? My special defense harshly? Yeesh. Good thing I ain't gonna let you touch me again, little skunky poo. Be gone. Skunks. I, I wonder if anybody has skunks as pets. I heard I think you can degland them. They're kind of like cats. I saw the other day, I've been watching a lot of like animal stuff, like animal memes, because they're funny. You can't help but to laugh at animals. But yeah, I've been laughing at that stuff, and then YouTube re recommends me like other weird, like just people, like little videos of people with their animals. And one I watched because it looked interesting. It was a uh, Japanese couple. It was it was one of their it was one of their otters' birthdays. Yes, they have more than one otter. They have two otters. It was it was the male otter's birthday, and they gave him like a buffet of like sushi and all sorts of like fish cakes and all. He was going ham. It was cool to watch and the little sounds he makes and stuff. And it's cool. They get so excited. He looks at all the food. He didn't know which one to eat first, so he's jumping up and down off the table onto chairs and stuff. You could really tell that. He's just like, oh, that's what, that's one thing I was thinking too. It's just like dogs. If you give dogs too much, too many toys at the same time, too much food, they get overloaded. And then they just don't know what to do for some reason. They can't just pick. They're so, animals are so indecisive. Especially when they're given free reign. But then you know, you know eventually though, like just like in the video I was watching, he'll, he's going to go back in, he's going to calm down, and he's going to pick something, and then he's going to eat all of it if nobody stops him. That's basically what he did. First he started with the salmon though. Apparently they really like raw salmon. He was picking it out of everything there was. There was a lot of raw salmon. Then his lady friend comes downstairs. Like if, it was really cute because he go he stops, he goes upstairs, and uh, then all of a sudden they both come down. Like he was like, hey, there's stuff down here. Come on. But first he needed to eat to a point where he was comfortable, and then he and then he went and got his lady. And this is cute. And then they showed it. They didn't show, but I noticed that around their house they had like pictures of the otters and like uh, professional people like drawing them and the otters, like them holding the otters. It's like literally like pets, like they're a part of the family. And they said it was like their fifth birthday, and he was like, "Oh, you grow up so so fast." And it was really nice. I forgot why I got there. Oh, Stunky. Yeah, Stunky got me there. Not originally, but wait, I feel like if we go up, that's the real way to go. We don't want to go the real way. So the real way is the left or most. It's like the thumb if you put your your pointer, your middle, and your thumb up. That's what I'm looking at. That's how I know to get around this place. Right now, I'm going to be looking at my finger. So we did the pointer finger. Now we just need the middle finger and the thumb left. Okay, middle finger, what you got to me? Don't, don't be a middle finger and give me nothing now. Don't you do it, because that would be that would be a great way of looking at it. Nope, there's got to be something behind this box. I refuse. Oh my god, the middle finger really gave me a middle finger. I've been ducked, guys. I've been ducked. No, no, no. No, no, no. They didn't even put sauce on me, so now I'm all dry and shit. Nobody wants dry duck. It's terrible. Is this the last door? Is that Cyrus? Are we going to fight Cyrus? Oh, no. Did okay, okay. Cyrus, what does he lead with? He's either going to lead with a Sneasel. He has all Dark-type Pokemon, I think. I think Tukana should just be able to go. Is Tukana the savior of this episode? Is it really you, girl? Are you going to do it? We're doing it. I see. You must be the trainer I've been hearing about. The foolhardy one that's trying to stand up to Team Galactic. Although I'd hardly expected to see that the trainer is a mere child. I had heard that our commanders had a rough time with you. Yeah, I roughed them up. They all wanted a piece and I was handing it out. I know why you're here. I can sense it, didn't you? It's about Uxie, Mespirit, and Alzel, correct? You want to save them. I can't take you seriously with this jazzy music in the background, even with this slow pan around. I no longer have any need for them. I am finished with them. If your heart aches to save them, go right ahead. I could care less. It will save me the trouble of disposing of them. But I must say, you are a remarkable specimen. 
Those Pokemon have nothing to do with you, do they not? But still you came to rescue them out of pity? Such pitiful, useless emotions, it's illogical and irrational. Pity and compassion are products of the weak and lacking human heart. You were compelled to come here by such vacacious sentimentality? I will make you regret paying heed to your heart. What? So you're not fighting me because I broke in, you're fighting me because of what I stand for. I mean, if that's a reason to fight somebody, that's a reason. Because of their point of view? Dude, his model is actually pretty sick. What? And he opens up with a macro. I knew he would have all darks. Or you open up with a dark? Oh, this background though! It's not just planets like the other ones. This guy actually has like a freaking... Some, like something's exploding or it's a nebula or... I don't know what that is. I don't know terminology for space, but that's awesome. I'm gonna get this moon blast because we're out here in the cosmos. Out in the galaxy. You know what? I feel like this stage would have been better without the giant G in the middle. Then you could have seen all of the reflection, it would have been amazing. Oh, you have a Golbat to protect your dark type from fairies. Okay. Okay there, feller. You want some of it, you're getting some of it. Nala is right behind me. Walla just walk Walla. Nala just walk forward. Not Walla, just knock forward. Not knock is not a thing. Is knock a thing? Do I have to look that up now? Oh, you're gonna poison me right off the rip, bud? No 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 no. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. No, no, no. No, no, no. Sparky. Spark him up. Spark him up. Ay, ay, ay. You're go. Oh, what? You held on. How could you? Now I get a free volt switch out of here. Poison fang me? Because I figure this is probably your only poison type. Unless you have a stunky. But I don't think you're going to step on your other commander's feet by having their Pokemon. What's volt switch? Oh, you're super potioning. Volt Switch might not take you out, because my special attack isn't that high. But now I won't take poison damage. Bop, and we're good. So wait, is your ace a Sneasel? Or is it gonna is it gonna be a Weavile? I thought it would have been Haunch Crow. I thought you were known for your like your Haunch Crow and your Weavile. Not a Crowbat. Even though now that I think about it, you do have a Crowbat for some reason, just because all the evil boys have Zubats and Golbats and stuff, but Giovanni never had it. He started it. I mean, they did come from the Kanto region. Um, what are we going into? Tukana? Yeah. Well, they didn't originate. That's just where we know they. Yeah, that's where we first see Zubats is in the the Kanto region. But they they come from a whole bunch of different regions. Not like they migrated. I mean, originally they probably did, but they've made a lot of homes as such as thusly. Oh, you're gonna set up on me too? Well, you're gonna pay for that, little guy. You're gonna eat this whole big old moon right to your face. Pull it down. Give me your energy, everybody. Give it to Tukana. Boom. One shot of Roo. Dude, you got you only have level 43s. You're just as strong as the last gym leader. We're almost level 50 on some of our pokes. Galactic boss on my ass. Interesting and quite curious. We got 7,912 Poké Dollars! I see, you are indeed strong. And the basis of your power is your compassion toward Pokémon. How wasteful. Such emotions are but mere illusions. And, like all illusions, they fade over time until death banishes them forever. That is why I have abandoned all emotions as useless sentimentality. But that doesn't matter. I doubt you will ever understand my position. That said, I recognize that you are strong and courageous to come alone. This is your reward. He just straight up gives me a Master Ball. Do you have multiple of these? How do you plan on catching whatever you're going after? Which I know it's a legendary. It will unfailingly catch any Pokemon in the wild, but it is not anything that I require. Unlike you trainers, I do not make Pokemon my friends or partners. Unlike other Team Galactic members, I don't use Pokemon as tools. Instead, I make the power of Pokemon my own. Um, how does that work exactly? And you're lying because you have Pokemon. If you wish to save the Pokemon from the lakes, take the warp panel ahead. I am off to Mount Coronet. That's correct, Mount Coronet, where you and I first met. I will ascend the mountain to its peak and then put an end to everything. No, I will bring about a new beginning for everything. Ooh. 
very ominous you got going on there guy very ominous stuff you got going on oh i think that's those those go down when i go up there talk to people come back down but right now guys i think i'm gonna leave it off here i didn't notice what time it was and i i think i i could have ended uh before the fight on a little cliffhanger but you know what it is what it is gave you guys multiple good fights in this one it was a grand old time these last couple of parts have been like double fight double fight double fight so maybe we'll get a I don't think we're going to get a, I think we're going to get more like exploring in the next one. Well, with that all being said, guys, I do hope you enjoyed. I know I sure did. And if you did, remember these three things. You're beautiful. I appreciate you and have a great one. Bye-bye.